Hello, I'm Sean, 80s raw, and this is Sonic State. And today, I'm looking at the Artoria Jupiter 8V. The Roland Jupiter 8 came out in the fall of 1981. It's manufactured to 1985. It's obviously an 8 voice, 2 oscillator per voice synthesizer. Lots of fat features, especially the fact that what you could do is you could split the keyboard, have two separate sounds. So you could have arpeggiating going on in the bottom, boo, play your lead lines on the top. Genius. Very, 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 very fat capable of a whole multitude of sounds, even got cross modulation in there. Let's see who used to use one. Look, Duran Duran, Hungry Like the Wolf. Look, why does he look like Vince Clark? Why does Nick Rose look like? There he is. There's Jupiter 8 there and everything. Look, oh, oh, flipping X, scary. Look, that's the thriller and everything with Michael Jackson. And, um, oh, look, it's Gwen, no doubt, and all that. Uh, Liam, Liam Howlett from um, Prodigy shot me. And that Moby Wally. He's a wally, isn't he, that one? Who, who else? Queen, David Bowie, uh, the, William Orbit, um, Frankie goes to Hollywood. And guess whose favourite synth it is? Yes? Howard Jones. <laughs> Look, signed to me, to Sean. See ya, Howie. January 1984. What Artoria done if they've painstakingly emulated the original synth, but then they've added some sexy new features. And basically, a whole new section. Here's your presets. There's over 400 presets to choose from. So at the moment, we've just got, I don't, we haven't got a keyboard split, so it's the hole. The hole is this sound. But if I wanted to do a split, then I'd turn the split on. There you go, there's where it's being split, on which section of the keyboard. And then I go and choose my lower sound. Now, they've done it the typical Artoria way, or in fact, how most Manufacturers are kind of do stuff at the moment is descriptive, which is really works. So basically, let's say right lower section I want uh, a bass sound and I want it to be bizarre. That'd be interesting. Bizarre, and here they are. So this is my lower keyboard. Right, let's just switch an arpeggiator on to make that kind of vaguely interesting. another one so I want some noise on the top half there you go keyboard split there now next section is your modulators now the beast that is galaxy absolutely trippy um, I can't completely get my head around it but it's lots of fun <laughs> so this is the trippy galaxy thing you can choose between the shape of LFO1 and LFO2. You can kind of rotate the angle. You've got rates for all of these. And then this trippy, this all starts sketching out this thing here. And that trippy. And then how it changes on the output. So that's changing the pitch of VCO, VCO1. Oh, it's wrong, isn't it? Oh, 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 I'm feeling sick. As ever, I can learn any of these parameters by right click on a PC or Apple click on a Mac and right click on a PC, then twiggle the knob. <laughs> Crazy, crazy modulations you get with this. It's absolutely sick in the brain. It's just wrong. I love it. It's absolutely it's right up my street. This is as mental as I will ever be. Just completely different modulations. It's just great. Oh, it's flipping good, isn't it, man? Uh, and then we have this rather cool sequencer. Really easy to use sequencer, idiot proof. Change the pitch here. You can link the notes, use a glide. Oh, that's evil, like a TB would do. Turn the accent up. Accent attack. The decay. Level, accent level. Smooth it, swing. You can go forwards, 
or backwards. You can go forwards and backwards, backwards and forwards. And random. Slow it down. Eighth. Thirty two. Thirty two. Sync it. Various modes, key on and off, whether it's free running, MIDI start and stop. Gnarly. You just have a little sequence, change the length. A longer one. It doesn't have to change the pitch. It can change the cut off, for example. In the effects section, you can put effects between the VCO and the filter. So you've got some distortion here, but I could put some chorus, parametric EQ. One to two. Same choice of effects between the filter and the VCA. And then on your final output, you have another choice of another two more effects. Uh, reverb's quite nice. Well, it's really nice. Now, that's really sexy, isn't it? That's not bad at all. That's a nice reverb. Phaser, delay, can be synced. Oh, so much to play with. Oh, that's uncomfortable sitting in that position. Yeah, it's just, it's just huge. It's capable of a whole multitude of sounds, real honking bass lines to really kind of ethereal, trippy pads. Um, and what Artorio have done with the effects, the effects sound really flipping cool. Uh, that kind of in line between the VCO and the, and the VCF, whoa, lush, uh, nice phasery sort of bits. Um, the Galaxy thing is just trippy and off the wall and completely mad, completely playable. Um, what you really want is you want some huge controller, you want every button, you want just your own Jupiter 8V controller, you just go nuts. Um, the arpeggiated thing, the split, uh, the poly, the unison, oh, it's, it's just such a huge synth. It could be a teeny weeny bit CPU hungry. Um, I think when you've got like the high quality effects and stuff and it's doing a lot, you are sort of chomping quite a bit. Uh, dongle based. So you can move it around, shove it in different computers and stuff, license on there. The Artorio Jupiter 8 V is 199 euros, 249 US dollars, available from Artorio.com now. If you trance pants, theme tune music, uh, drum and bass even, uh, it's a really versatile synthesizer. It can be poptastic, it could be dark whore, uh, grimy d death in, in painful places with pins. Uh, it can be, uh, you know, it can be sparkly off with the galaxy, you know, uh, taking too much horse tranquilizers like out in the outer nebula. Um, that can, can do that as well, which is handy. So very versatile synthesizer. Um, and yeah, I, it's huge. I absolutely love it. This is 80 Sean Ra, signing out. See you later. Uh, yeah, I'm down with retro vibe. So I was there originally. It was me. <laughs> 13 in 1983. Anyway, yeah, yeah, Bauhaus split up, which is much more exciting than any electro pop shit.